Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Another Crab's Treasure. The last time we left off we defeated the Seviche sisters and I got the map piece that was here. Um, and I guess we're gonna try to explore the rest of this stuff today. There was still other stuff that we can super, super get access to from here, so... I guess we're just going to explore. I still need to go back to, like, the main area, too. Um, also, how much damage does that do? It's pretty good. Um, I was just bouncing off your head there. Uh, ow. Bang, bang, bang. It's pretty, uh, good, this, uh, new ability I have, I feel. For, um... Like, kind of pinging an enemy, if it's, like, far away and doesn't have a lot of HP left or something like that. Because it doesn't do a ton of damage as it... Holy shit, you tracked the hell out of me. Oh my god. Um, it doesn't really do a lot of damage, but it is good for that, so... It's worth keeping in mind. So, let's just try to get up here and see what other stuff we can access. Oh, I still got gunked. I should have grabbed one of the tissue boxes. But, whatever. Alright, so, let's get over here. This is the area I have not done as much exploration in. I mean, I guess this area I have. But we need to get, like, over there more. Yeah, because that's where I went to get in there. So, let's just jump onto this. So I can avoid as much of the combat with some of the enemies over here as possible. But yeah, we went up that thing, but I didn't explore all the way along the right side here, and I need to go back down into that previous area too. Oh my god, you little shit. Why did I go for a charge? There. That's when I go for a charge. Ow. God, I hate how you drop your food if you're in the middle of eating it. It's such a... God, if that wasn't... Uh, uh, video game, please! Okay. <laughs> video game was, uh, having none of it. Um, if that was a thing in Dark Souls, God, could you imagine if you, like, dropped your Estus? It would be pain. Pop. Eat that. Can't handle me, I'm a pistol shrimp. Okay, so yeah, up there is where I want to get. Yeah, God, game was like, uh, for like a second. That was scary. Video game had me worried. Alright, so... Ooh, one of these. I can use that to get rid of one of these enemies pretty easily. Um, speaking of one of these enemies... Hello. Are you ready to die? I hate this enemy, like, a lot, so... I am ready... to kill you. We No! Oh my... Shit! I pressed the wrong button. It's not the right button, you fool. There we go. We Oh, you didn't even die from that. Um... Oh, God. You reacted fast enough. Is there a shield back here? Or a shell, rather? Damn, where are they all at? Huh. There's really not, not one, like, this entire... walk back here? Shocking. Like, none. Really. At all. I don't even know where that enemy went, actually. Oh, did you walk back to your spot? Okay. Well, that's cool, too. Hello. You're in a really shit spot, you know that? Out of there. Would you just come out of the hole, please? Fortunately, I don't have enough to finish you with that. Oh, are you serious? Okay. There we go. And now you got- look at all that goop you have sitting around right there. Oh god, you gunked me from that. Okay, you were in an annoying spot. Yeah, the pistol shrimp ability is, uh, pretty cool. Like I said, just for getting those little bits of extra damage in. Especially when, like, I have a shell ability that's just not 
you know, like I'm not using at the moment or isn't useful. Still having something to use my umami on besides just the bobbit worm. Quite nice. Uh, definitely want to get up here. God, this place is just a nightmare. All right. Uh, looks like being up there will get me to some stuff as well. And there's not really anything hanging out on Sardine Island over there. So is this actually... I don't think this is the the one I took. That is a different one, I believe. I don't think it is. No, 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 this is, this is, because you had to go through that whole thing. So no, we have done that, so... I guess all I hadn't really done was this. Yeah, I'm looking at everything. This area is smaller than I thought. I thought there were like two of the things that shoot you up, but no, we went up there. I'm pretty sure. Didn't we? It's hard to tell sometimes. I think I've been up there. Let's just go look real fast and ignore you as best I can. I'm pretty sure this is where I've been though. Yeah, because then I dropped down there, and then that was the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So... We can go ahead and get out of here, then. Can I... Do I have the height to jump off of that? No. Alright, so now I just want to focus on getting back. Without dying. Preferably also, probably jumping down to, uh, the area that I've unlocked the shortcut in now. Alright. Getting up here would be cool too, but I don't really see the way... to do so. There's a character to talk to and everything. But, yeah, I don't see a way to do it right now. We might need to do it from the other end. Alright, at least it seems like we're almost done with this area now. We're getting there. So this said shortcut unlocked when I got this, but I don't see how that really acts as a shortcut. Uh, I don't know if I want to be fighting you with, um, I mean, okay, my shell is badly damaged. I don't think I want to fight you. Not right now. Well, I could do it if I had this. Hold the phone. Yeah, if I had this, I could. Hey, friends. This will do just tons of damage, so... Hey. Hey, come here. Come here. There you are. Enjoy! Huh! <laughs> just don't mind me just getting launched. <sighs> All right. God, we flew. Okay. Um, now the only problem is I gotta not die to these little shits. There we go. That's one down. I'm just gonna take them out like that. There we go. So I don't even have to worry about there being any danger. I even got rewarded with a heart kelp pod. Okay. Get me up here. So this is how I get to this spot. Oh, come on. Back up here. Let's just climb all the way up and then I'll grab that in just a second. Hello. What did this do? Fizzle? Uh, releases pressurized air to push away enemies in a cone. That's it. Hi. Hey. Hey, babe. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the character from, um... Uh, from, uh, from, uh, d d d Going Under. Shromp! It's, it's Super Shromp from Going Under, their previous game. Hmm. His name wasn't Shromp, I don't think, but there was a character that straight up talked like this, had this same expression. 
It was like one of the characters you you could you could hang out with in like the sections that weren't roguelike sections. Over here, you look like an honest crab. Then you help a guy out in a little bit of life-threatening uh, predicament. I don't, I don't know, man. That glass looks pretty tough. Even with this fork, I don't know if I can break it. Okay, well, if you find a better weapon, or if you stop being like super weak, maybe come back and free me then. I really appreciate it. That doesn't work. Hey, hey, babe, over here. Look on. Is a babe, 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 is a babe, babe. Um. Okay. Uh. If I find a better weapon, I. I mean. Is this? No. Yeah. Wait, is it? This is pressurized air to push away enemies in a cone. Huh. Is that always what the description for that said? I thought it was just like damaging with the soda cans and stuff. Hmm. So, better weapon to free you with. Are you just like a reference or do I actually need to head back over here at some point? Let's let's, let's add a note. Save Trump in D -D -D company town. Flotsam Vale is the name. There we go. And I guess I should take a picture of exactly where you are. Because that feels like something I could do. Like maybe at some point I upgrade my weapon or I get a, I get, I have the option to get like a heavier weapon. I thought it was just going to be like, yeah, put something on your scrap hammer and then you can do it. But no, that did not happen. Whatever. All right. Well, let's get back in there, I guess. Uh, it doesn't, hmm, that doesn't work, no. Maybe it's one of these abilities, because there's this umami charger right here. So maybe there's an ability I get that will, like, allow me to, uh, change that. How do I change to my bobbit worm ability, my adaptation? How do I swap between the two? I don't actually remember how. Hmm. Okay, it's left and right on the D-pad. What is this down doing? Oh, I'm swapping what's on my... Oh, that's interesting. I'm swapping what's on my scrap hammer and what's on my thing. I didn't even realize I could do that. But yeah, that's apparently something you can do. Uh, but yeah, it's it's left and right like this to swap them and I'm guessing that doesn't do anything. Yeah I don't know if maybe the claw Thing that I have would work But yeah Well, we took care of that. That's the important part. God, I have 93 skill points Need to spin those at some point and there's the shortcut I have to get back up there. Okay. Did not mean to just dive into this junk. Uh, okay, let's go hit this. And see where we can go from here. God, there's a lot of skill points hanging out. Bonk. Just double bonk. Easy peasy. Just like that. Uh... There's a shell over there, and that's one I've actually already activated. So we have made our way back to civilization, for lack of a better term. A little bit, after I got... After I got very, very distracted by all the other stuff that was around here for a while. And this is also stuff I've never gotten before. So, neat. Um, no. 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 Wait, how many of you are there? Oh, God. There's a lot of you right here. Um, did they fall? Oh, my God, they fell. You dummies fell. Um...
Yeah, so this is just like the soda can ability. When it said it released pressurized air to push them back, I was like, oh, that's not super useful, but it is still the projectiles that I get with the soda. So... Yeah, eat that, nerd. Bonk. Bonk. There we go. Ugh, there's the shotgun shell. Um... I'll take this. Give me you. And there was something cool over here. Actually, give me this back. I don't need that right now. Cowfish boy? Y'all just gonna scuttle by without saying howdy? Change costumes. Yay! Um... Hello, I'm here to murder you. Enjoy your murder. Thank you for using our services. And you? Another anemone. Uh, and heart kelp. Thank you. Oh, and there's an item hanging out over there too. That I missed before. Hello. Rusty nail. Okay, I'm gunked up again. Luckily we have some heals to work with now, so it's not super, super bad. And... Is there anything else interesting around here that I feel the need to examine? There's a boxing glove up there. There's the shell. This is the path I could have taken. I still never found that shortcut, did I? So we have successfully found our way back around this place and connected all of it together. There might have been, there might be a path or something I've missed at some point. Hmm. Don't know, we'll have to look around a little bit. Oh my god, wait, that's death? Oh. I don't expect that. Oh, I see it now, there's like a deeper part. Yeah, right over there, you can see like a thin little outline. It's the same thing that happens in uh, in Souls games a lot, where you'll have water, and there'll just be a part where they're, like, you can't really see it unless you know what to look for, but there's just a clear line. It reminds me of doing the Hydra boss fight, uh, when I was, you know, like, obviously the first time I played Dark Souls ages ago. It reminds me of doing that and, like, having a really, really hard time seeing the line. Uh, come here, you. I got a Lamprey. All right, put you down. Shortcut discovered. Uh, I can't get up onto that thing. I still don't know why it says this is a shortcut. Maybe it moved the block, whereas before I couldn't get up there, but now I can. And then yeah, this is just where I started. I Like I said, I don't know that path over there, but I think we're pretty much done with this area for the most part at this point, which is exciting. Ignore me. Ignore me. I'm just gonna climb up this. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, we're good. <sighs> Alright, I mean, I'll probably come back here and re-explore because I am absolutely 110% sure that I have missed things here. I think now though, especially since we have the map piece, we have most of what the game wanted us to get from this location, so... Uh, like I said, I still just- I don't think I ever lowered that. Right there. That's one of the few things I have not done. Okay, um, well, let's teleport to Moon Snail. Spend our points. Hello. How are you? Generous as ever, Moon Snail. Yes. Uh, alright. So, we only have a few things left. Releasing block while naked will let you parry as if you're wearing a shell. Once per rest, your shell regenerates immediately upon breaking. I'll get that. Existence from a forms a perfect spiral. All things enter this world at spiral's edge and must one day reach its center, returning to nothingness and allowing others to be born. To know this is painful. Perhaps it is the ultimate tragedy. Even so, the spiral is a core truth of this world that must absolutely never be undone lest we send ourselves plummeting to its center all at once. And do I have, I don't have enough for anything else, but yeah, we have. I need a hundred and, or no, 110. And we're totally done with this. And then I'm 
Interested in what happens there. Cool. Only works once per rest. Okay. I mean, that'll be useful in like a boss fight. Okay, so... Now that we've, um... Been messing around with stuff a little bit more, maybe I should ensure a different shell. I also have a ton of money. So, uh... That's the thing, too. We also have way, 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 way too many duplicate stowaways. Which I'm guessing at this point, I can just get rid of. Um... Let's see. My mom says you guys went to Flotsam Vale. It's supposed to be super messed up there. See anything scary? Um, 40,000. So I could work on doing that. Uh, hi there, mister. Looking to hire some stowaways? So, yeah, I mean, I look, I have five anemones. When am I ever gonna need that many anemones? I also have five another crabs. Um, which I don't particularly feel the need to hang on to. Uh, a dupe fruit sticker? Like, Part of me is like, maybe you can like use these to upgrade things at a later point or something, so maybe I should keep them, but... At the same time, they're worth a pretty good amount of stuff. So... I don't know. I feel like I can possibly part with a few anemones, but I'll, I'll keep this stuff for now. Just because, I mean, I'm not exactly hurting for money at the moment anyway, so... Uh, razor blade, packing peanut. Is there anything I want here? I don't really feel like there is. The lug nut and razor blade, I'm just not particularly interested in. So, we can't upgrade that. I don't think there's going to be anything new to get up here, so we might just be spending a lot of this money on, uh, level ups at this point. 38k. Um, because you don't- you have a tackle pouch. Fine, I'll, I'll get the tackle pouch. It's 2k. Um, and then sell junk. So, yeah, we have a lot. Four paper claws. Seven hair claws. Like, we- we have so much stuff. And there's a bunch of treasure I never even picked up in the sands between as well. And we have all those stowaways to- to give up as- as well. God, there's- there's a lot. Uh, alright, so, let's level up. What do I want to put points into? Um, I do feel like getting my physical attack up at least a little bit more is probably a good call. Um, wasn't there a stowaway I wanted to use and I didn't have the stats for? Or was I, or was I making that up in my head? Oh no, we have the- we have the stats for Chum. So, I might try to put Chum on. Like, take off the fruit sticker. Or like... Maybe the sponge. Maybe the sponge would be what I would take off to put on that. Because I do want to try that out. Um... Hmm. I'll get to attack to five- I'll get my attack to five at least. Um, and then... MSG, MSG. I do like still mostly having an MSG-based build. Mostly just because it's interesting. Um, I do think I'm generally attacking physically more so than using the magic. Uh, so it might be more efficient to put points into attack, but I find- I find the MSG system... ...interesting. Like, just um umami stuff in general is just interesting to me. Uh, so we can get a few more. Um, let's just sell one, two. What does that put me at? Because it was like 10k that we needed. Okay, I'll need one more. Okay, so this should get me two more level ups. And then I have way more sitting, sitting in the bank back there, should I feel the need to do it. Or if I want to... Yeah, we could just increase our stowaway capacity with it again. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Level up? Alright. So... Yeah, like, I don't want resistance and attack to get too low. Let's see, we could get vitality up to... Up to 10. So I'm just getting bopped less. Um... Shell resistance hasn't been a super huge problem yet. 
I just want to like go in super hard on Umami and just see how ridiculous we can get it. Like I really do. I want to see how stupid I can get my damage in the Umami department. So that's kind of exciting. Um, as far as stowaways go, do I have the shark? I did get the shark tooth plus, didn't I? Or did I just get another shark tooth? I did not get the shark tooth plus. I did get the cockle though. 20% hammer damage. Which I do think I like. I do think I, uh, I like the cockle. Um, and then... I think maybe we replace the sponge with chum, which would require that I go and increase my stowaway capacity, so... I th mm, actually don't know if it'll get me enough. Let's see. Oop, not buy junk, sell junk. So, I have 5,000. And then that's, uh, like 17,500. And then this is 7,000. Yeah, I don't have enough, actually. I could sell some of my friends, but, uh, or my stowaways, not, not, not my friends. We're, we're not friends, we're not to that level yet. Uh, I could just take off the thing that gives me more microplastics, like, Really, is it even adding that much of a benefit? I, it doesn't even tell me a percentage, so I don't really know how important it is, and using chum would maybe just be more interesting, so let's just take off the fruit sticker. And use chum! Okay. There we go. Cockle, sponge, chum. Extra hammer damage is gonna be quite nice. I don't think there's anything else I need to do over here right now besides just go up and turn in the next map piece, I guess. So, let's go see what that's all about. Uh, upper crust. Coo coo coo. The only other thing I would do, I guess, is ensure a shell. This shell would be a pretty good one to ensure, because Fizzle's not a bad ability, and then... Uh, it's also, you know, incredibly durable. Hello. My god, my child, you smell absolutely terrible! You've been wading neck deep in natural detritus. Detritus. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Tell me about it, old man. Lots of veils completely swamped in gunk. Hope I grabbed the right thing, because I never want to go back there again. I, I see. Things are that bad already. All the more reason to keep up your search, I say. Let's have that map piece. Hopefully I can decipher it quickly as a... Kokupu? I... Mm. Is this the last piece? Here's so, I say. Unless I'm mistaken, we're all about to learn the treasure's resting place. How my antenna twitch with anticipation. Aha, you'll scarcely believe this, I say. The treasure lies just off the coast of Flotsam Vale, submerged within the slurry. Incredible, we're so close I can taste it. Oh, hey guys. Indeed, all that remains is to head to the docks, grab a boat, and then... And then what? R Roland! No, please don't let me interrupt you. Enlighten me as to your intentions. So, the treasure sunk down somewhere in the slurry. I presume you'll trawl through it yourselves. Illusional rubbish. It's akin to finding a limpet in a landslide. Just cause it's unlikely doesn't mean we ain't gonna try, you blowhard. Yeah, we got every right to give it a shot. What happened to the free market? Give it a shot then. Perhaps the free market will simply provide, but I've enabled this farce long enough. I'll be taking this map. And Shellfish Corpse's flagship salvage rig, the Dark Star, will begin its search immediately. Feel free to meet us there if you wish to witness history, small fry. <laughs> Trash it all, there's no time to waste then, I say. I also just realized my little friend, like, the fish actually is traveling with me. I thought it was just gonna get summoned when I lost a certain amount of health or something. Everyone to the docks at Flotsam Vale. Okay. Look at my little buddy. Look at my little buddy. Remind me where I'm going? Were you not just paying attention, child? Roland's taking the map! Got to head to the docks at Flotsam Vale. It's our only chance to catch him. Okay, bye. Worked hard for that map, and Roland thinks he's just gonna up and take it? Almost wish I'd thought of that. Why do I waste all my time running around like an idiot? Gotta remember to work smarter, not harder, you know? Keep that in mind for next treasure hunt. But who cares about next time? We gotta catch up with him, right? Right, 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 yeah, yeah. We, we gotta get the Flotsam Vale docks. That's our best way to cross the slurry. See you there. Nice piggy bank. 
Let's make tracks, kiddo. Brolin's got the map. If we don't catch up to him, it's only a matter of time before he beats us to the treasure. Gotta get the Flotsam Veil docks pronto. Alright, well, uh, I don't know about pronto because I'm ending this episode off, but, uh... <laughs> uh, y you have fun with that. You definitely, definitely have a good time with that. Ah! Not over there. Alright, cool. So, hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.